Hey there, well today we're having a look at the brand new presence sensor from Miros. This time it's a millimeter wave with PIR and it's battery powered and matter over thread. So let's have a look. So the Miros MS605 is selling at $34.99 USD. It includes three sensors, so it's got the millimeter wave, infrared, as well as the light sensor. It works with Apple Home, Amazon, Google, and of course Home Assistant, and is working on matter over thread. So remember, you do need a thread border router to get this working. It offers three zones for different zone detection options. Miros is suggesting the battery can last for up to three years. Inside of the box, we've got some instructions. We've got a fastening option. We've also got the sensor itself. We've got this little spudger device for opening up the battery compartment. And the nice thing is that they do actually supply us a battery. And this is the CR123A 3 volt battery. So having a look at the sensor, once again, similar to the last model, it's got this device for fixing it. So you can actually just place it at any angle on the table. So that's pretty cool. On the side over here, we've got our matter pairing code. We've got a pairing button on the top. This is also used to wake the device up because it does use Bluetooth communicate with the app. Um, on the front of the device, you can see we've got our PIR sensor over here. And then down here, we've got our millimeter wave and our light sensor. To open up the battery compartment, we just use the little spudger device, pop that open. Oh, it's broken. Okay, there we go. It's all come out. That's fine. Just the spudger broke. All right, so we'll just pop the battery in like that. Close the compartment. As you can see, it's got a nice rubber seal around it there. So we can close that in because this is a completely watertight sensor. And there we go. It's all ready to use. Now, to be totally transparent with you, Meros did send me this device free of charge, but this is not a sponsored video and they have absolutely no control over what I'm about to say. Now, first of all, to understand this device, there's a couple of things that you need to work out. First of all, we're going to connect the device itself to the Meros app on my smart home. You're going to set it up like that. Next, we're going to take this and we're going to connect this via matter over thread. I'm using my thread border router inside of my Apple HomePod mini. Now, the reason I'm doing this is that I haven't managed to get a thread border router working successfully directly with Home Assistant yet. So I connect it first to the Apple Home Hub. And then what I do is I share it from there over to Home Assistant. Now, the final thing that you need to understand is that if you want to go back into the Meros app, because you need the Meros app to adjust the settings on the sensor. So if you're going to connect from the Meros app to the device itself, you need to press the button on top of the device and then connect via Bluetooth to the device. And then you can adjust things like the sensitivity of the sensor. So we're going to open up our Miros app. And as you can see, it's already detected the sensor. Now it goes through a setup process. So install the sensor where you want to use it. Make sure there are no objects or people moving around in the room. Press next. Set the sensor up as shown. Now you can select between either 3.2 meters or 6 meters. So dependent on whether you're using this in a small room or a larger room. I'm using it in my bathroom, so I've selected the 3.2 meters. Now it's all set. Now it's automatically adjusting itself to the room. And there we go, it's all done. Now I'm gonna connect it to my Apple HomePod Mini. So we open Apple HomeKit, add accessory, scan the QR code. Now it's connected, we can select a location. As you can see, we've got three occupancy sensors and a light sensor. So turn on the pairing mode. Copy the code, go into your Home Assistant, add Matter Integration. Yes, it's already a use in Apple Home. Paste the code in over there and add. So now you can see within Home Assistant, we have the Illuminance and three occupancy zones, as well as a battery sensor. Now, in order to make adjustments to the device, we need to go in via the Miros app. 
So I click on the device in Miros and this is a Bluetooth connection. So I need to press connect over here and then tap on the little switch at the top of the device. You'll see that green light flashing and now it will connect. So you can see here that it's connected and currently it's showing presence because I'm standing right in front of the sensor here. So if we go back into the device and we go into the settings over here, you'll see here now that we can go through here We've got a number of things that we can change. So we can select the detection mode. So we can either get it to respond to radar first with PIR assistance, PIR first with radar assistance, or radar only. And there are ramifications to the speed of response as well as to the battery usage from these different selections. We can also go and we can adjust the sensitivity. Now, if you want to adjust your sensitivity, you actually click on one of those and you can then scroll up and down to adjust the amount of sensitivity. Remember, I selected 3.2 meters as my maximum distance, and that's why these up here at 4, 5, and 6 meters are currently not enabled. Now, I really like with this device the way that you can actually watch exactly what's going on with the sensor both with the presence and with the PIR side of things. So you can see from these bars exactly where it is measuring you. And what I noticed is that if I stand really still for a while, it does start falling away. In order to overcome this problem, I ended up by setting a five minute timeout window on the presence so it would wait for five minutes before turning the light off and if there were any micro movements within those times it would then restart that timer so overall my thoughts about this device are yes it's a great little package i really like the idea of battery millimeter wave sensors i like the fact that they've got both the pir and the millimeter wave inside of this device. It just means that you've got the two methods of detection and you've got quite a lot of control over how those operate and also the sensitivity. I like the fact that it's got the three zones that you can use for different zone detection. Um, the matter over thread, um, that's really a problem currently that I'm having with Home Assistant, not with the matter device itself. So I'm still trying to find a matter over thread radio that is gonna work with me for Home Assistant. And I'm waiting for the new Home Assistant one to arrive and I'll give you my feedback when that does arrive. So currently it's working fine connecting via the thread device within my home kit um, and then sharing that across to Home Assistant. Well, anyway, let me know what your thoughts are about these battery millimeter wave sensors. And if you've enjoyed this uh, video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.